Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I have some very exciting news about the Taken King DLC and today is 7-7-2015 so as everyone probably knows it is Bungie Day. Every year on July 7th Bungie has a special event on all their games. Last year it was Halo, this year it is Destiny. So today kicks off the first week where we will be getting Taken King DLC information. So every Tuesday from now on and every weekly update we will be receiving more and more Taken King information. So today we have a first look at what we will need to do to complete the Destiny Year 1 completion. So by completing all the Year 1 challenges, you will receive a very exclusive and very limited Destiny emblem. So this emblem will only be available to be unlocked until September 15th when the Taken King DLC comes out. So if you have not completed all of these challenges by that time, you will never be able to receive this emblem again. So if you want this emblem, definitely be sure to complete all these challenges. And as of right now, we do have a little bit over two months to complete these challenges, so you should have plenty of time to go ahead and unlock this emblem. So now on screen, I will show you guys what exactly you need to do to unlock this emblem. So first off, what you're going to want to do is head over to the Destiny website. I will leave a link to that in the description below. And what you're going to want to do once you do that is go to your character, and you will see a tab at the top of the screen called Triumphs. Now once you get to the screen, you will see this picture above right here. And what this is is all of your progress towards the... Emblem. So as you can see here, I only have one more challenge to complete, and here is a, a quick list at all of the challenges you need to complete. So first off, you need to win 100 Crucible matches. Second, you need to defeat the Prison of Elders on hard difficulty. You then need to defeat Antheon on hard difficulty, so go ahead and load up Vault of Glass on hard and beat that. After that, you have to defeat Proto on hard difficulty, so go ahead and find a team for Proto Raid and do that on hard if you have not already. Then you will need to complete all of these 50 public challenges. events. You will need to capture Skolas in the Vex Citadel. You will also need to defeat the Dark Heart of the Black Gardens, so you're going to need to go ahead and beat the story mode as well. You are then going to need to create a character which reaches maximum level, so if you are close to level 34 or just need one more piece of gear, go ahead and unlock that as well and level your character up. And finally, you will need to prevent the summoning of Protosoul, so you will need to complete that mission as well. But in completing all of these missions, you will unlock this exclusive emblem, which I will show you right now. So this emblem looks pretty sick. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like down below, and be sure to comment down below how close you are to unlocking this exclusive emblem, and I will catch you guys later on in another Destiny video. Peace!